right, guys, and you already know, Replay Viewers, thank you so much for all you do. And for those of you that are jumping on live, thank you so much for jumping on live. And we made it off the couch into the human, Civil and Human Rights Museum. And so we're going to go around and we're going to get a tour here. And I just walked over here from the streetcar, so I'm like, take the stairs now, I'll take the stairs later. I have, it's been a minute since I've been through the museum, so we'll see what parts are open. Uh, and there's also a bar. It's called Party with the Past. Um, as you know, a lot of 50th commemorations are going on. A lot of 50th commemorations are happening this year or this decade and so forth. And uh, like I said, it's been a minute since I've been here. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tour that we're giving you guys. And so I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough. Not a quick walkthrough, but just kind of keep it moving. Uh, the museum is open tonight. If you go, I checked in. If you go on that link, you can check in. They have free tickets. Hey, what's going on? What you doing hanging out? Say hello. What's up, people? I'm like, did I see this on your timeline? Happy 2018. Thank you. Happy summer. Oh, I haven't seen you all year. It probably hasn't been all year. Oh, wow. Wow. We'll catch up. Don't leave without catching up with me. So, um, for those of you that haven't been down here, right downtown Atlanta, right here at the, where the world of Coca-Cola, the, what do you call that thing? Aquarium. <laughs> Georgia Aquarium. And, uh, I've come in a few times. So, we'll, we'll walk. Um, today they have free admission. It's party with the past. They got jazz. They've got bars. It's gonna be open until about 9:30. I parked away as I always do when I come downtown. I park away and I take the streetcar, and or either a lift. You can take the streetcar or a lift over. And it says the line forms here. Now this is, is the lunch counter over here. And it's a very unique experience. If you have not done it, you want to try it. It's called the Lunch Counter Exhibit. And you basically see how long you can sit and endure what those who participated in the actual Lunch Counter, um, you're listening to some of the turmoil and torture that they have done. So you put your hands in the, in the handprint and it kind of counts down uh, how long you can endure. And it is difficult. It is a def definitely a difficult thing if you haven't done it. A number of people that were arrested as part of the civil unrest. Uh, lots of familiar faces. If you live long enough, you know a lot of these people. Especially if you lived here in the South. Very interactive museum. If I, if I walk past something a little too fast, you want me to go back, you want to check out something a little bit more, let me know. And again, we got to change. She's starting hers. So you stand in the line and you go through it. It's definitely unexpected. Even I don't care how many people tell you what it's gonna do, it's definitely unexpected. The violence was quelled, and under pressure from Washington, the governors of Alabama and Mississippi both agreed to have state police and the National Guard protect the freedom riders. On Wednesday morning, May 24th, state police and National Guardsmen escorted a dozen freedom riders from Montgomery to Jackson, Mississippi. You guys can't see on the screen, but there are actual jail bars. There are bars here as you read, um, and as soon as you come up, the images are playing to your left and to your right. 
and you're reading the letter that Dr. King wrote from the jail. Very interactive, very interactive. The gentleman that I interviewed on um, C.T. Vivian is in one of these videos having dealt with Bull Connor. open today party with the past they're calling it um it's actually two maybe three levels uh so you wind your way through up the stairs to the second level and also at the king center if you're in atlanta the king center is celebrating it's 50th anniversary of when it actually opened, 19, from 1968, um, the year of Dr. King's assassination. So you got to imagine that happened in April. And so, therefore, in June, the center was established. What we see currently today as the center was not um, what was originally established. Guys, I'm going to jump to a couple of the platforms before I go to another level. Because you know I'm going to be live everywhere. So I'm going to walk my way, work my way back to the beginning. And jump on another platform. I just noticed those were actually seats. No one really knows why they are alive until they know what they died for. Sunday, Mother's Day. Further violence exploded just outside of Aniston, Alabama. Aniston, Alabama, you know, is just across the line. New group going through the experiment. I'm going to go back and come back through. I'm going to jump over on Periscope. All right.